Hi and welcome to Visual Basic Tutorial of a Building System. Now I'm going to show you guys how this works. First of all, I'm going to reset and we enter some new value in there. How many amount we want? Okay, we want about maybe four cans of those. And wine, we're going to leave that out. And milk, we prefer milk. All they need to do is to click on total. There we go. And receipt. There. Okay, you can exit if you want. I'm not going to exit. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take you guys straight into Visual Basic Development Environment. I will put one of these together. And just for your information, this is my second channel. And please do subscribe to this channel as well. Thanks for watching. See you in the final tutorial, in the full tutorial. Hi, this is a visual basic billing system tutorial. I'm going to start by clicking on create new. And in here we select visual basic and click on next. Now let's give that a name. I'm going to call it VB underscore billing system. there and let's just click on save click on create there we go all right my development environment is ready the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to click on properties and in there i will change the size of my farm to 1386 by let's go for 800 there we go now the first thing I like to do is go straight to the toolbar here and I will then select plane. Got my plane there. You see it is very plain. Let's come in here and change the back color of that plane to powdered blue. Now okay, let's set it for cadet blue. Cadet blue, that's fine. There. There we go. I'm going to grab another plane. Let's just drag this that much. Grab another plane that I'll put inside it, and that is going to be control. Let's change that to control. There. There we go. That's fine. Now let's bring this down. I'm going to copy this because I intend to have another frame right here. Yeah, that's that's fine. Good. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is let me copy one of these again. Just hold onto your control, click and drag, and I'm going to paste this right up here. That's going to be for my title. And I'm also going to need maybe one down here. Let's bring it down. Right down here. Now let's change that color. We need to change that to. Yeah, control. Bring it up. We actually need to bring it. Bring up. Yeah. There. I'm just dragging that much. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a label up there, and that label is going to be for my for a title. Let's come down here and grab a label. Where is it? Yeah. There, drop that in there, and that label I'm just going to enter. Billing system or oh, billing, let's call it billing management system. Yeah, that's fine. And I'm going to change the font size to something readable and maybe even change the font color as well. Yeah, why not? Billing management system, come down here and just change the font. I'm going to make that cadet blue. There, done.
let's run it and see how that looks like there we go so I'm gonna exit out this one thing see this very form I'm gonna click on the form make sure it's selected go straight to the property and let's look for start position I'm gonna get that centered there we go and that is done let's come down here we're going to need some buttons here so let's go straight to the properties here and grab some button one button here and this button maybe i should change it change the color of that button as well or leave it the way it is i'm going to change the color why not come in here just change it to cadet blue as well that is the fonts let's change I mean make that black and the let's see the background let's change the background to okay, that blue right and the font let's come in here and just make that a little bit readable maybe come let's set to 436 something like that and i'm just going to copy it across let's say maybe one more okay and this one the last one is going to be for exits so let's go in there and just enter bt and exit and come right down here and enter exit in there there we go now I'm going to double click on that very exit button just double click on it and let's enter our exit lines of code there so I'm going to say dialog result think of dialog results come on dialog result I'm going to call that I quit There we go. I'll come right down here. Oh, that's not C sharp. Let's, I think it's meant to be dim because this is visual basic. Dim. I quit as dialog results. There we go. Right there. Okay, let's come down here. The I quit is going to have the following message. So I'm going to say message message box dot show open up a bracket the first argument in there is going to be confirm if you want to exit if you want to exit or quit if you want to quit okay confirm if you want to quit that's my first argument comma the next argument is going to be the name of my project which is billing management system there so that's the second argument i'm going to enter comma press enter and the next argument is going to be message box buttons the message box button is going to be dot yes or no and the fourth argument is going to be message box icon there dot let's use question there we go those are all my argument that will be inside i quit now i quit is going to compare whatever i have by me using i quit equals dialog result dot yes so if I quit equals dialog results dot yes then we want the application to do something for us application dot exit okay dot exit there we go so that is my exit lines of codes so let's run it to see how that works there we go that's that's taken care of no I do not want to
to exit. Yes, I do want to exit. Now let's come back in here. The next thing I want to do now is I'm going to add some labels here and text widgets. Now let, let's say we add labels first. Let's add labels first. Yeah, labels and the text widgets. I think maybe I should use something to do with. Okay, let's grab text text box first. See, instead of the, the text widget, maybe let's get rid of this text widget to make life a little bit easy. I'm going to use label as well. Come in here. But this very label, I will convert it to, let's say, auto size. Let's make that force. I want it to have the appearance of a text box. And the border style is going to be white. Come on, man. Get in there. White, the border style. Border color is white, border style, we make that fix 3D. And, and, and let's get rid of whatever content we have in there. Scroll right down and just get rid of that. Get rid of feet and align. Let's get it aligned center. And let me increase the font size of both. Come in here and just come right down here. Come right there. Just increase the font size to something a little bit readable. So that is going to be for my items there. Now, I want an item selector. So in here, let, let's go back in here. I need number, number up and down. Yeah, put that in there. Let's increase the font size of that number up and down. And let's come right here, make that 20 as well. So depending on the amount of item that you select then the number of one down we just indicate for us so let's say in here you want something like let's see a name for that we can call that maybe bread or something so let's enter a name for that i'm just gonna call that bread And now, if we look in here, what I want to do is whatever amount of bread that you want, when you click on this, we just want the total in there, but the bread should have a constant. So let's come in here. I'm going to declare a variable that I'll call constant for the price of the bread. So let's go into our code here. And right underneath the public class, I'm going to enter constant bread that is the cost of bread one pound 79 there we go so this variable for us to be able to use that very variable i'm going to come in here you see this number up and down the very first one we're just going to leave it as that double click on that and in here i'm going to enter oh let's give this a name this should be lbl I'm going to call it LBL bread. LBL bread. Yeah. Make the B of the case. And let's be a bit professional. This one is going to be N, maybe number. Let's call it number, num up. Okay, we'll just leave it as number. Yeah, hey, number bread. That's fine. Number bread there but she does have some other values in there let's come in and just get rid of all of those click on that the, these uh those names in there i don't want them up here everywhere okay come back in here we have number right now so go back to my properties and i will then double click on this number bread there and when it changes we then want lbl dot text equals i'm going to get it formatted format to currency open up a bracket and whatever we have inside number bread where is it number bread okay number bread 
we want to multiply that by the variable bread. That's right up there. Okay. Uh, number bread is going to be dot value, dot value. There we go. Now, run. And you guys will see how easy the rest are. Let's see. So, whatever amount, that's for one bread. You see, instantly, the price is given. That's beautiful. I think we need a title here. And the cost, number of uh, item, and item. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm going to repeat the same thing for the others. So let's just copy. That's two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think that would do. Five would do. So up here, we need some title for them. Come in here, copy this. That's going to be title here. Another one here, and another one here. See that? That's easy. So let's change this to if that is bread let this one be maybe rice okay rice we set it for rice maybe a tin of rice or whatever and in here we can just call up uh, shall we go for beans yeah and in here what else do we have maybe wine red wine something and finally we can just enter we just enter milk in there something like that you guys can always make up yours all right the names of every single component will now be changed let's move this down a little bit now go back in there let's move them down and even this ones need to come down a little bit and we give them a proper name this will be cost of item. Cost of item. And this, the next one will be number of items. And number. Number of item, items. Why this one be items? There, that's fine. All right. So maybe we should even change the color to make it pronounce. I'm gonna change that to red blue. There we go. Okay, that's fine. Or maybe leave the color black. Yeah, leave it black. And do that. Let's leave it as black. All right. That is fine. I'm gonna increase the size of these so that I can. It's gonna be here, something like that. I just move this away. And here we want the total of everything. Here, that would be the total. This would be the number of item that's bought in total and here this will be total cost total cost there and that's all there is to it so I will now give them all a name every single one of these this is number bread this one is going to be number rice and so on I'll get back to you guys as soon as that is done. Okay, they all have a name now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these. I want to get them centered. So let's come right down here. A line that will be centered. Good. Maybe we should center this as well. I think that these ones are centered already. Yeah, they are. 